When I started in 97, I didn't have the equipment. Everybody had quit making sail. I found one man that had equipment, and I carried my cane and made syrup over there. We ground the juice outside, coated it by bucket into a little lean-to beside the barn and cooked it. We moved from down near Cottonwood the 21st of January because the family has decided to carry on the tradition. And we had been leasing land and we lost the lease on it. So we made the decision to go ahead and to relocate and to purchase enough that all the family could come here and build and live. So we bought this 80 acres of land here on at Hedlund. is the juice cooks out, that's your steam, uh, and the syrup comes, those bubbles will just get bigger and bigger and bigger. My guess is we'll get 10 gallons of syrup. We started with 60 gallons of juice. 224, that's where we cook it to. We're at 219 degrees now, and I'm, uh, I'm constantly reducing the fire, but you can see as we talk how much bigger the, the boiling is getting. There's a lot of little telltale secrets as to when we get to the perfect stage. For example, if you'll notice now, the syrup is boiling out. Well, it will start boiling in at the perfect stage and it will go to become a point what we call frogging. I don't know what the real name of it is, but it starts popping up. We started at 7.30 this morning and uh, then you can add three hours to this to go cut another load to come back in to start tomorrow. So it's basically an eight hour day. Uh, it takes her just about six hours to, uh, to, to bottle it up because the health department requires us to have it at 146 degrees. So we're coming along real good. I don't know how the biscuits is coming. <laughs> That's not my department. How's the biscuits coming? 12 minutes. We're gonna both be ready about the same time.